Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise, I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig review. I'm here to show you Tress Allure California Beach Waves in the color 3231. I am so excited to bring you this style. I have been wanting to try this style for months. Tress Allure is partnering with me on this review. They did send this one to me so I could show it to all of you. I cannot wait to tell you all about it. So if you want to know, stick around. I am so thrilled to be able to bring you a review of this style. I have been wanting to see it for months and months, and here it is. I'm so grateful to Tress Allure for partnering with me and sending me this to you so I could show it and tell you all about it. So let's take a look at it from all sides. It's very long, so I gotta stand on my tiptoes. I think I need to look into a new lens for my camera so that we can see. I'll tip that one over for a second here. I can never seem to get far enough away with long wigs. I'm wondering if they sell camera lenses that might help me with that. Anyway, this style is so outstanding. You know what it reminds me of? So I grew up in the 80s and it reminds me of an actress named Tawny Katane. She starred in a couple of White Snake videos, if any of you know what I'm talking about. This was totally her hair in the one where she was dancing on the car. This is what it reminds me of instantly. Such a cute style. This was actually kind of my dream hair. I had always wished I could have hair like this. Now I have some cautions to give you guys, so we'll talk about that in a little bit. But let's just talk about the fibers on this. This is made with heat friendly fibers. When I did my unboxing for Instagram, which I will tack onto this video, I had someone make a comment that aren't, you know, about heat friendly fibers and aren't they a nightmare to care for in longer wigs. They can be challenging to care for and I don't have a ton of experience caring for longer wigs. I do have a video showing you how to care for straight, shorter heat friendly styles, which I will link in the description, but I am going to be experimenting with this one. I'm going to be wearing it so that I can come back with a wear update for you guys and tell you how it's doing and how I'm caring for the fibers. This is going to take me a while because I have so many different wigs and I wear different styles all the time. Given what I do, I can't wear any one style constantly. So I'll do my best, but stay tuned for that in the future. Now this piece has tons of long layers. So you've got, see these shorter layers here, down all the way to the bottom. It's very, very flattering. And we've got a bit of a fringe up front here. So if you wanted to put a full bang in this one, you totally could. The template is built for you. I do have a video where I show you how to do that, which I will link in the description. But if you don't want to wear a bang, it's just a perfect side swept bang has this beautiful flattering fringe so I really think it's going to work for a lot of people now this style has a full mono top and a lace front I'll take this off and show it to you but let's just look at that lace front you can see that right there they did a really good job there's a little bit of knotting but nothing extreme, very easy to camouflage. If you're super sensitive to knotting and you wanted to wear this in sort of an updo, you could take this front section and you can pull it up into a little top knot or a little clip. I would wear it like that without any concern, but if you are ever concerned about knotting, you can put a little bit of translucent powder there. That will take care of it and it will disguise it. But I think this one is going to be so fun to style. If you wanted to, like, I'm holding the lace down right now, that's why I'm doing that, but if you wanted to use a little trestle or wig wax and try to get a little bit of lift in these bangs and a little bit of volume there, I really think you could. This does not have very much permatease. It has a little bit of crimpy fibers where the hair meets the cap. Nothing up here because that's all monofilament, 
but it gives it just the tiniest bit of body. I don't think you're going to get big hair out of this, but if you want to put product in it, I think you could get a little bit of volume. What you see here won't hold because there's no permatease to hold it. Now, as far as that monofilament goes, it's really kind of hard to see it because it's uh, fairly densely knotted, but you can part it anywhere you want. If you are someone who really wants to be able to see that monofilament, it's really important to you to be able to see it, then you can, wherever you decide that you like it parted, you can pluck that part line just a little bit to open it up. And I do have a video showing you how to do that as well. So trying always to think of ways to help you guys be successful on your wig wearing journey. Let's take a look at this cap. There's that full mono top. You can part it anywhere up there. That right there is a line of reinforcement between the lace front and the monofilament. Very common on full mono top wigs. It's far back. See all of that space right there? So it's pretty far back. It's probably back about here. If that concerns you at all, if you feel like it's really visible, I don't. I played around with it. I really don't. But if you do a little bit of translucent powder, just take a makeup brush, dab it on your part line, that will blur it out and it won't be noticeable. You've got soft ear tabs with bendable stays, extended nape, Velcro adjusters. I love this cap. They did such a good job on this cap. Let me... Make sure these adjusters are all the way out so I can tell you how this cap is fitting. I always like to put them all the way out. That will give me a good sense. Okay, so this cap, tons of stretch. This cap is running, I would say, whoo, I really kind of made a mess when I put that one back on. The challenge with long wigs when you put them on is just getting the fibers arranged because there's so much of them. So just take a wide tooth comb, start at the bottom in case there's tangles, work your way up. This is one that you're going to need to comb frequently because of the length. You're definitely going to want to comb out this one during the course of the day. Let me just look over here in the mirror. so that you don't get any really bad knotting. So just if you're going to wear long synthetics, you should always carry a wide tooth comb with you. Have one in your car, have one in your desk at work, have one in your purse. They're not very expensive. That will go a long way toward caring for your wigs. I also notice when I comb through this one, it is shedding just a little bit. That is really common with long wigs. I don't think it's uh, it's shedding excessively, but there is a little bit of shedding. And I want you to know that because if you're new to wigs, you might comb through, get a little bit of shedding, and then think that it's a defective wig or that's somehow not a good thing. It's really common in long wigs. I'm not finding it to be excessive on this one. So I think this cap is running true to average. I absolutely can cinch this in. I'm going to have to take it off again and deal with all that, but I want to tell you guys, I have a 22-inch circumference. I'm going to cinch this in a fair amount and see what we've got here. Oh, yeah. That's much better, and I cinched it in quite a bit. So I really think this is going to fit a 22 and a half really comfortably. It's got so much stretch though, that it may actually fit bigger than that. I'm not getting a ton of extra cap on top. So I wouldn't say that this is running terribly big. So I'm gonna call this really true to average with a generous circumference. So if you are a petite, um, you, I don't have a lot more room to cinch it in. So as far as the circumference goes, you're going to have to overlap those adjusters. But the rest of it, I think, is um, manageable from a sort of an average petite to an average large. Okay. I covered 
density. I'm just hoping I'm not forgetting anything. This has a moderate to heavy density. I wouldn't consider it the heaviest density. I think it's got the perfect amount of hair for a wig of this length. It's definitely not light density. It's got a good amount of hair, but the ends aren't sparse. If you go, if some wigs, if they're too low of density at this length, the ends look really thin and sparse. I think this looks absolutely perfect. It's the really right amount of hair for the style, but it's a fair amount of hair. There's no question about that. A fair amount of hair, not a lot of poof though or permities. So I think it's a manageable style for sure. As far as the coverage goes, you can see my bio hair right down here. My bio hair is kind of giving me problems right now with the length it's at, but these ear tabs come exactly where I like them to come on a wig. So I get really good coverage overall and it's really a manageable density and everything so that tucking is really easy. At least on me, you may be different. So whenever people talk about tucking and wearing glasses and things like that, that's all subjective to how the wig is fitting on the person saying it. So you may or may not have as much success, but I can tuck this super comfortably. All right, I'm not gonna cover color in this video because I have a color comparison for you guys. I'm gonna film it right after this one. I have this exact same style in this color here. So I'm gonna do a color comparison and do that separately. So if you're here for color, then I will, I'm will. i filming them both today, so I'll release them one after the other, so just you're just gonna have to wait maybe a day to see that color spotlight. But I wanna make sure that I'm able to give good treatment to the color comparison. This video will be way too long. So I'm gonna wrap this up by telling you the following. If you love long hair, you love beachy waves, you love layers, this is a fantastic style. I do think you have to be prepared to care for the heat friendly fibers though. You do have to take heat to them regularly to keep the ends from getting frayed and frizzy from the friction on your clothing. That is something that I show with a straight shorter style, but I haven't mastered it with wavy pieces yet. So I will be working on that and bringing you an update. In the meantime, I think this would be an amazing wig for updos. I think that will be very protective of these fibers so you can wear it down occasionally and wear it up and that will keep the friction on the ends to a minimum. I don't have a wig cap on right now so I'm going to struggle to do any meaningful demonstration of updos. I do have a video where I show you how to put a long wig in an updo. I might do another Tip Tuesday using this wig because I know how helpful it is to see more than one video. But this is one of those that you are going to be able to wear in a beautiful ponytail. I love to do twist updos. So you twist it in the back. You stick a claw clip right in the back there. And then you let the waves sort of spill over. That's such a beautiful look. And with waves like this, it would be perfect. And because this has the fringe in the front, so casual, so easy to pull off. So I definitely think if you are looking for a great piece to wear in an updo, this could be a great one for you. One other thing I'd like to say is sometimes with long wigs like this, in synthetic, heat friendly especially, but even regular synthetic, it can be hard on them to rub on clothing. This is one that you could have for a really long time and just trim it up periodically to set, so the ends start to get really frizzy and the heat's not taking care of it, give it a little bit of a haircut. There's so much room to go on that that you could you know, trim off an inch or two, still really long, another inch or two, still really long. It would take you a long time to trim off enough that this would suddenly become a short wig. So another tip for you if you just wanna try it so bad but you're so worried about the heat-friendly fibers. All right, you guys, I am so grateful to Trust Laura for giving me a chance to see this style, for sharing it with all of you. Please let me know if you have any questions. Stay tuned for the color spotlight. Stay tuned for an updo video. Any other questions, I'm happy to try to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you in my next video. 
Here we go with the out of the box. Love doing out of the boxes. They're so helpful to know what to expect when you get a wig out of the box. And I was super excited about this one. I might have done a little happy dance when it arrived. Allegedly. <laughs> so this is all the stuff you already know. So you just want to see this. I was so excited. So you can tell it needs a little bit of combing. So these curls are very separated when you first get it. Which, if, if that's the look you're going for, it's perfect. But I personally think it looked a little bit better combed out. So that's all I did prior to the review. You can see. It looked awesome out of the box. I didn't have to do anything at all. I combed it out. That's all I did. Really cute. Stay tuned for that color spotlight I told you guys about. It'll be a good one.